What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Flix by Ryan and today we're talking about a question that I get all the time asked on Instagram and that's how can I become a professional photographer or how did you get to where you are? So sit back, relax and enjoy this video. All right, so I get this question all the time on my Instagram. Uh, my following has grown quite a bit in the past year, I'd say. And, um, you know, like I said, people ask me all the time, how do I get like you? Like, how do I become a photographer? How do I, you know, get to where you are type, type questions like this? So, and really it blows me away because what I've done hasn't been anything really crazy. Like, literally I tell everyone the same exact answer to this question. And usually I feel like, these people are expecting a, a more complex answer of like a huge list of things that I did. And really, I just wanted to break it down for you. So whenever I want to do something, what I do is I, you know, obviously first, the most important thing is take action, is start, take the first step, whether that's for me buying a camera or, um, you know, for somebody else, maybe that's even just starting to record videos on their phone or buying a book. So first thing you gotta do is take action. After you take action, what you have to do is uh, is look at the successful people and, and see what they're doing. So for me, it was well, okay, I want to grow, uh, you know, a social media following as a photographer. So what I what did I do? I went on YouTube and I looked at other successful photographers and I saw what their tips were for growing an Instagram following, and I applied what they told me to do. And so that is the main thing that you have to do when you're trying to become something, trying to to start some type of hustle and that is look at the successful people before you see what they did and emulate that how did how, how do you start becoming a photographer how did i start becoming a photographer how did i get to where i am and it's so simple the answer i give to everyone is take small steps every day literally try to take at least one piece of content every single day go out and practice use your camera and shoot as many photos as you can, as often as you can. And, and this, in the reality of it, over the long term, will be how you become successful. Like it's, I, I like to say it's impossible to fail if you just start and never stop. Like eventually it has to work. Now obviously, I'm a, I'm a huge optimist, so, you know, if you're applying pressure in the wrong places at the wrong time, obviously that's not gonna work. But with the idea in mind that you start and you, you, you're consistent and, and you are always looking to improve and get better and, and you know, you're, you're not insane. You know, the, the definition of insanity is uh, doing the same thing and expecting a different result. So as long as you are continuously growing and bettering your craft and bettering your, your uh, systems, right, that's how, you, that's how you grow, that's how you become a professional photographer, that's how you become a professional, whatever you do. Now, am I the most successful photographer? No, absolutely not. Am I, am I even close? Heck no. Have I done a lot of things right? I'd say I have, yeah. Do I have things that, that people can learn from? Absolutely, 100%. And honestly, over the past year or so, that's become a huge focus of mine, that I want to, um, you know, mentor younger photographers to get in a place where they don't have to work at Starbucks. Right when I first started working, uh, doing photography, I was working, you know, 25 hours a week at Starbucks, and uh, you know, oftentimes I'd be show up at 7 a.m., which means wake up at 6:30, get in the car by 6:45, and be at work by 7. And that's not fun. That sucks. Like when you wake up and you have to wake up early and, and go into go into a job that you don't necessarily like, especially with coworkers that you don't like at all. Like people give you, a, you know, a, a very hard time. I liked a lot of my coworkers, but there were people there that made my life like miserable. You know, like I hated going to work because I knew I'd have to work with these people or this specific person really. And um, you know, over this over the past almost two years now, I've been able to step away from Starbucks. Like, I don't have to work there. I don't I don't have to worry about, you know, am I going to be able to pay all my bills or fill my car with gas or anything like that. So Believe in yourself, I guess is what I gotta say. Believe in yourself, like I said, take action, emulate the successful people ahead of you. Um, you know, always seek to improve. That's what I got. 
If you have any specific questions, absolutely feel free to DM me on Instagram at FlixByRyan. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it did, uh, give it a like and subscribe down below because I drop new videos on this channel every single Tuesday. That's all I got for you today. Until the next one, ladies and gentlemen, it's been your boy Flix by Ryan. Peace out.